Hi! Welcome back to the channel. Today on this video I'm going to show you the tools that we use to find our Italian home and how the process went from finding the home to making an offer. I'm sure you're going to find this video educational and I'm hoping fun as well. And please stick around until the end. If you have been following our channel, you will know that after having purchased our house in Italy and moving to Italy from Australia at the beginning of 2022, we found ourselves in a situation whereby we had to buy another house quickly to be able to continue our plans of remaining in Italy while applying for my husband's Italian citizenship. Besides the budget, it was super important for us that the house was in a good enough condition that allowed us to connect electricity and water and that we were able to reside in it straight away. We were happy to do cosmetic works down the track, perhaps renovations in the future, but it had to be habitable immediately. Luckily, we love looking into the real estate market in Italy and even after purchasing our first property in 2020, we didn't stop searching. So for the remaining of 2020 and 2021, we continued to check out what was available. We felt that we had to, since the house we had purchased back in 2020 was hundreds of years old and it needed a complete renovation. So we had to keep our options open. Back in Australia, we used different websites for our search. We used um, idealista.it, casa.it, immobiliare.it. Sometimes we will use trovacasa.it and cercacasa.it. Our favorite one is probably idealista dot it as well as casa dot it you can select a particular search area without the need to know the name of a specific town or city so that makes it really handy just think about what area of italy or what region you're interested in and then just select it keep in mind that in italy not all houses for sale are available online or are with a real estate especially if you're looking at the lower budget ones but these by no means should stop you from doing your research. Regardless of what app you use, if you're serious about purchasing a home in Italy, at some point you have to narrow down your search. I know it can be complicated. It seems like there is a lot of choice out there, but at the end of the day, you want to tick the most boxes that you can. You want to find what you're looking for. So I understand it's not that easy but I will help you with that very soon on a different video. So once we were faced with the situation of having to look for a house very quickly, we went back to the favorite list we had saved from our previous research. We looked at our current situation, budget and new requirements. We knew what we were looking for and were familiar with what was available. The nervousness and anxiety of purchasing a home was minimized by the fact that we had already done the hard work. Don't get me wrong, it was stressful, especially since we had left everything behind in Australia and already had our three pets here with us. But knowing that we had narrowed the options down for months and even years gave us a sense of relief. All that there was left to do was to check out the towns in which these houses were located, see which house ticked the most boxes and have a sense of the vibe of the place. Not only the house, but the town as well. Most of the places we decided to pursue were in Abruzzo, since we were already in this region, and we had chosen it for a reason, we thought that it would make things a lot easier. But there was one property that we loved right off the bat when we saw it back when we were in Australia. The property was in Molise though, which is another region out of Abruzzo. That wasn't really a turn off for us, but we just thought about checking what's in Abruzzo first. So we went on and checked out some properties in a town called Loreto Aprutino, which is a beautiful, lively town. You should check it out. Guardia Grele, 
Conchita Sant'Angelo, which is near Pescara, and others that I can't really remember right now. After checking these places out, we owed it to ourselves to consider the property in Molise. Interestingly enough, back in 2021, we had contacted the two real estates that had this property for sale, and neither of them had gotten back to us months and months after. Regardless, we decided to take the trip to Molise. You all know that we love a drive. <laughs> Check out the town and surroundings and hope that we could get in touch with somebody to see and to look at the property inside. Getting information from real estates in Italy can be time consuming and it can be frustrating as well. It's not only about the language difference, but it's about the fact that they think that distances are too great for them to travel to show you something. And we believe that's especially the case with the properties that are of um, lesser value. In our case, we stood outside the house and called the two real estates that had the signs on the house, which are the same real estates we had contacted months ago. And we said, look, we're here. Will you be able to show us the house sometime today? And they said to us, no, we're too far. We are in Termoli. Can you make it next week? And Termoli is only 20 minutes away from the town where we were looking at the house. So that was really frustrating because we had already driven about two hours here. Um, yes, we hadn't made an appointment, that's fair. And yes, sometimes petrol can be a little bit expensive here. So when they consider distances and the cost of a house in their eyes, it may be just um, too much effort. But at the end of the day, there were two clients wanting to see a house and the house was on the market for about three years. So here we were standing outside of the house and thinking we probably won't be able to see this house at all. We may have to move on. On paper, this town and house ticked a lot of the boxes, which was very promising, and our requirements were. The town had a regular bus service. It is located within 30 minutes of a main city. The town needs to have a supermarket. It needs to have a bar, of course, where else will we have our coffee and pastries? The house, of course, has to be within our budget. And the house hopefully has a garden. Of course, the house needed to be habitable and we needed to be able to connect the electricity and water straight away. The town and the house also had some extras that weren't part of our wish list. For example, the town not only has one bar but three, it has a post office, instead of one supermarket it has two, it's not only 20 minutes from a main city, but that main city has great beaches and the name of the city is Termoli. The house not only has one bathroom but two, one of them is an ensuite. It not only has a garden but also a terrace and it has two beautiful balconies, one of them with a gorgeous view of the hills and mountains. So there we were on a windy day waiting outside the house with no real estate willing to show it to us. We decided to knock on the house next door and we were so lucky the neighbors were very helpful. They didn't mind at all. Um, this house had been empty for many years but luckily the neighbor had kept the phone number of the owner. So she called the owner and we agreed to pick her up from Thermoli and drop her back off after the viewing because the owner doesn't drive. Then, when she tried to open the door, she couldn't find the right key. She had a set of about 15 keys in her key ring and none of them were of this house. We waited for a while and I didn't even thought that, that was it for this house. We can't get in, we're not coming back. We could both see the potential, but as the owner didn't drive, that would make it a lot more difficult to arrange another viewing. The neighbor suggested afterwards, though, to call a locksmith and after about 40 minutes, voila, we were inside the house. So there we were, looking at the house, 
which was in better condition than we expected. Oftentimes, pictures can be taken so badly on these websites that you can't really tell if the place is better or worse. Luckily for us, it was better. It was moving ready and the seller was eager to sell. The house was in her name only. There were no siblings, uncles, aunties or any family to complicate things, which can be the case in Italy sometimes. And the paperwork was ready from her part. This meant that settlement would be as quick as we both agreed. After looking at this house inside, we confirm yes, it ticks all the boxes. And I'm curious to know what's your list? What is the list of requirements that you would like to have on your Italian home? Please feel free to comment. Agreeing on a price wasn't difficult since we knew the market pretty well and also the owner had received offers previously which she had rejected so she knew very well what was her bottom line. After agreeing on a price with the owner we kind of had some issues though and I will let you know what that was on the next video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Please like, comment and subscribe. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And until next week, you can enjoy this video or this video. Just pick something from the list. I'm sure you will enjoy it and find it helpful. And see you next time. Ciao!